NASA has announced its new astronaut class of 2017, and one of those astronauts works for SpaceX. Rob Kuleen is with us today to talk about his journey to becoming a NASA astronaut. Hi, Rob. So my first question for you was one that you probably hear a lot, and that is, why did you decide to become an astronaut? Um, yeah, it's always a fun one. So for me, it, uh, it was actually the, uh, I think I've always had a little bit of an adventurous uh, nature in trying to see you know, what's around the corner, or what's, uh, what's beyond. And um, I really didn't have an introduction to, to space or started thinking about it until I did a report uh, with a friend on the Columbia disaster, actually. Um, and, you know, looking back on that, it, it obviously wasn't uh, the fact that it was a disaster, but it was more just an eye-opening moment into, into NASA and into space exploration. Um, and kind of made me think, hey, you know, maybe that's the next thing around the quarter or, uh, you know, the next thing to, to explore. So what's different about working at SpaceX versus NASA? And why not just become a SpaceX astronaut and go loop around the moon or wherever SpaceX wants to go? No, that's, that's a good question. And to be honest, you know, I, I actually, you know, this is, you could say my first day in the job or second day in the job. Um, and I'm actually still working at SpaceX for, for a little while longer. I want to actually sign my, my full contract with NASA for a little while still um, and, and have my, my true start date in the fall. So it's hard to get a great comparison. Um, I will say, though, that, that uh, you know, we, we have worked together a lot as, as teams. So I, I do work with an interface with NASA pretty regularly. And um, I think both teams bring a lot of energy and, and ideas to the table. You know, we, um, NASA can, can bring a lot of experience uh, our way that they've, they've had over the years. And we can kind of you know, bring other ideas to the table on how you can approach problems. Um, and, and so I actually think, we, you know, we were just really a good com combination effort and a great team. And, and it's harder, I think, to, to contrast there, perhaps. So between the moon and Mars and beyond, anywhere in the universe, if distance and time weren't really an issue for you, where would you most want to go if you could just go anywhere? Um, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I guess the moon, I, I would I think it'd be really cool to go go to and to go back to. Um, but I would like to see humanity push beyond the moon. Uh, I would like to, to see it, you know, really become uh, multi-planetary and, and, you know, I, I think it'd be pretty radical to, to see uh, humanity uh, colonize Mars someday, um, or at least, you know, get some sort of uh, sustained presence there. Um, there's a lot to be learned even about our own uh, planet here, here of Earth, of course, um, by going out and exploring other places and having that kind of ability to, to reflect back. Um, so I, I actually think Mars would be kind of the most incredible next journey for for the uh, human exploration side. So human spaceflight is inherently risky. So why do you feel that it's worth it? And why did you want to become an astronaut anyway? You know, that's I get that question a lot, actually, even, you know, long before I was uh, got the lucky call a couple of weeks ago. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, my, my job for the last, or at least my last job at SpaceX here has been a lot of managing risk. Um, and I do think that humanity has never gotten anywhere without taking risk, right? Um, we'd still be crawling if we didn't take the risk of, of our first step. Uh, you know, we'd still be walking if we didn't decide we wanted to run one day or ride a bicycle. Um, and it really is just kind of projecting that farther. You know, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here um, with the United States of America or, or Canada or Mexico if, you know, if Columbus hadn't um, come over. It, humanity's nature is to push boundaries. It's to, it's to try to see what else can I achieve, where else can I go, and what's around the corner. And I think that's kind of in all of our hearts. So for me, yeah, there is there is some significant risk involved. Um, I I don't want to play that down. Uh, I've been at SpaceX through through two launch failures and actually been pretty intimately involved in the investigations on both of those. Um, but I think you know we learn from that as as a as a team, and I mean a team with, with SpaceX, NASA, et cetera. Um, and we're going to make these these spacecraft more reliable, and it'll facilitate kind of that natural human uh, emotion and, and desire to go. Um, to go explore. We, we will always take the risk. We will always push to the next step. And, and I just feel very fortunate to be uh, part of the team that has been able to, to support that on the, the front end and, and hopefully eventually actually be one of the ones flying at some point. 